Greet you all in the name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. It has been a long, long time since I made a video. Made a video about two years ago when God called me out. When I received the word of God about letting go of the worldly image and embracing the image which he has made me in, which is his image. Honoring his work, loving his work. Now, on today's ladies said episode, on today's video, I'm going to talk about marriage. The reason I'm touching on this topic is because, children of God, I just want you to, to just remember the importance of marriage and why God created marriage and that marriage is not to be toyed with. You can't decide to get married today and get divorced to tomorrow. It doesn't work that way. Today, they've even made shows now on TV about getting married on first sight. And then after a month, if you feel this is not working, get divorced. It does not work that way. This is not some play show. Marriage is not a playground. Play somewhere else, but not in God's church. Marriage is a church. Marriage is a church. Marriage is a church of Christ. Marriage is ordained to do exactly what the church does. Have you ever sat and asked yourself, why is the devil fighting marriage so much? He is fighting it because it is a threat to his kingdom. How is it a threat to his kingdom? The devil gets in between. Gets in a marriage to cause division. Remember, marriage is a it's oneness doctrine. Two people have been brought together into one flesh. Now that remains a mystery. As Paul states, he has brought two people into one flesh. Now the devil gets in to separate that, to cause division. Let me tell you something, what God has joined together, you can't separate. These people are joined together. If you do allow the devil to, uh, to let you divorce, know that you are still married in the eyes of God. Maybe divorce here on earth, but you are married in the eyes of God. You have been joined with that soul. You have been joined with that person. There is a tie. You can't just separate that from on a piece of paper. No, it doesn't work that way. What God has brought together, let no man separate. The devil plays you in thinking that now you are free. You are free from that man. No, to God, you are still a wife to that someone. You are still a husband to that someone. What you are doing now is engaging in adulterous act. If you have divorced, your wife is still alive and you've married another one, you are in an adulterous marriage. Get out of it. Respect marriage, people. Respect marriage. It is a church. The devil does that simply to destroy the seed. God said we are to multiply. We are to be fruitful. When he blessed male and female, he said, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, govern it. But how do you govern when you yourself are divided? You can't govern when you are divided. And how can you not be divided when you are not in Christ? The only place where you will remain governed is in the Lord. And in that way, you will be able to govern everything else. You will be able to be fruitful. You'll be able to fulfill your purpose. The purpose of a marriage is to fulfill, is to bring glory to God. He says, what do I want from a union? Godly offspring is what I want. It's in the book of Malachi chapter 3 verse 15. He said, godly offspring is what I want. It's what I want from a union. 
that godly offspring are disciples. That godly offspring are said to be the, the, the arrows of a warrior in the book of Proverbs. The arrows of a warrior. That's why children, children are defined as the heritage of God. Now when you, an arrow, an arrow is what you use to hit something from afar. Now that tells you it's the future, it's the generation of tomorrow. It is the future. They are the ones to continue the gospel of God. The, they are the ones to continue the message about the cross. The devil is destroying marriages so that he can destroy the message of the cross. The disciples, the godly offspring that God wants from the union are the ones that are to continue his message. And the devil doesn't want that. So he comes in between. He comes in a marriage and he divides. He divides, he destroys, he kills. And we allow it. We are to protect the seed. The wife and the husband, we are to protect the seed. And how can we protect the seed when we ourselves are not aligned with God? We cannot stand against the devil divided. How can two walk together when they are not in agreement? That's what we need to fight for. You need to fight to be in agreement with your husband. You need to fight to be in agreement with your wife. You need to keep your marriage balanced. Scale. You need to keep your marriage scale balanced. What am I talking about when I'm talking about a marriage scale? What I'm talking about, as a wife, you have been given a role. You have been given tasks to fulfill. You are to respect your husband. You are to honor your husband. You are to allow the authority of your husband. You are to submit to him. That is... It's a task that a wife has been given. The husband has been given his task as well. You are the head of the house. You are the head of your wife. You are in authority of your household. You are to respect your wife. You are to love your wife. Just like Christ loved the church and even laid his life for his church. You are to love your wife to that extent that you are willing to lay your life for her. You are to always be by your wife's side. Your wife must be your number one. God, why will God say a, a, a man is to leave his father and mother and cleave on to his wife and together they shall become one? Husband is because you are now the head. You are coming out of your father's household, out of your father's rules and regulations. You are coming out of that. Now you are going into your own. You are coming out of your father's book. You are getting into, you are starting your own book as the head, as the head. Now, how can you be the head when you don't know who you are? Where are you going to lead your wife and the children if you don't know who you are? How is your house going to stand when you, you yourself are on a rocky ground? Where are you leading this household? You are the ones that are, are allowing the devil to stumble all over marriage. Find yourself. Wife, find yourself. Husband, find yourself. Know who you are. Let's know who we are. We can't win this battle. Divide it. We can't. We will not win this battle divided. God will never forsake you. He will never deceive you. Now as a wife, you may be sitting there and saying, I hear you, Marilyn. I hear what the word is saying. But how am I to respect this man who does not, who does not recognize me? How am I to, 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 to honor this man who treats me like, who just who treats me like dirt? How am I to respect this man who cheats on me on a daily? How am I to look at this man as my master like Sarah? called, respected, 
Abraham so much that he honored Abraham so much that he called him his master. And we as the daughters of Sarah are to do the same thing. How am I to do that if this man is the way that he is? Simple. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Keep to your tasks. Pray without ceasing. Seek the face of the Lord day in and day out. Pray for that husband. Pray, woman of God. Pray for that husband. Fight for your household. Fight for your marriage. Fight for your children. Fight for Jesus. Fight for the church. Jesus never gave up on you. Why should you give up on him? Jesus never gave up on you. Fight, woman of God. Fight! A woman of a noble character. Fight! Jesus was done all kinds of things. He was spitted on. He was jeered on. He was... But he never gave up. Even when on that cross, on that cross and as he was about to give his last breath, said, forgive them, Father, for they do not know what they are doing. That love, let the love that, let your marriage come from Christ. Let us not be engaged in worldly marriages where it is, it is, it is drawn by lust or the material. Let your marriage be ordained by God. Let God be the one who says, this is the one. Consult with God, people. Let's kill divorces. Let's destroy division in household. Let's destroy the work of the devil. He is here to destroy. He is here to kill. He is here to steal. Don't allow him to steal. Don't allow him when you've got Christ. Christ says, it is done. It is done. Done. That is what the Lord said. He said, do know that the prince of this world is coming, but he has got no hold over me. That is the only, that is the only way in which we are to survive through Christ. And Christ said, you are, you can't do anything outside the vine. We are the branches which had to be fruitful. Allow the word of God to prune you. Allow the word of God to prune you. Let our marriage be balanced. Let the marriage scale balance. Let us work. Let us pray to God. Let us pray without ceasing. You know, when Jesus was going through that pain, pain as he was about to give out his last breath here on earth, he was birthing a church. He was giving us another chance. Though we were his enemies at that point in time, for we were sinners, we were, we were, Dipped into our sin. But he never gave up on us. Same thing, woman of God. When you're going through that birth pain, you're birthing out a church. Let us not allow the devil to confuse our children. Let us stop this division in the world. Let us stop this broken generation, this confused children that we are giving birth that we are raising let us raise warriors those arrows that we have in our hands warriors let's let's turn them into warriors let's allow jesus to rule our household let us end divorces let us end the works of the devil